Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. Welcome back to Gaming News. Under 10 minutes on Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Capcom and this new DRM protection. So apparently Capcom has added Enigma Protector to its uh, Steam releases, which is according to Google. Now, I'm not really big on all the latest in, in DRM, but I know more and more publishers are adding code to games to keep people from pirating games. And according to Google, because Google's always reliable, it says Enigma Protector is software protection licensing and virtualization system uh, is a virtualization system that protects executable files from hacking, modification, analysis, and illegal copying. So apparently modders are thinking that Capcom is going after their ability to mod games. Uh, we've got a Resident Evil modder who says that's not actually the case. And the whole thing has caused a kerfuffle online. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this, try to make some sense of it. I'm sure uh, some of you watching this video probably know more about it than I do. But I'm going to uh, take a look at a couple articles here and uh, give my reaction. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. Uh, weirdly enough, we're going to go to Polygon first. <laughs> I don't usually cite Polygon first, but uh, we'll go to Polygon first this time. It says Capcom adds new DRM to old PC games, raising worries over mods. And this was a couple of days ago. This was like four or five days ago. Resident Evil Revelations update on Steam as part of a pushback on piracy and mods. Uh, Capcom has been adding file protection software, again, this would be Enigma Protector, to its back catalog of games on Steam, seemingly as part of the company's efforts to crack down on piracy, but also on PC mods, which the company claims are no different than cheats for its games. While the addition of software called Enigma Protector to Capcom's games has been going on for months, Steam users say this issue came to a head earlier this month when the publisher updated Resident Evil Revelations on PC. And this game is over 10 years old, right? That update caused noticeable performance issues, according to players, and Capcom quickly reverted the change. But Capcom said in an update on Steam that plans to re-release that update. Users on Steam have since pushed back, adding mostly negative reviews on Resident Evil Revelations. Many cite the mod blocking DRM as a primary factor for their, their uh, negative reviews. Um, and they talk about Enigma Protector's third party software package designed to help protect executable files from hacking analysis and modification. Capcom has identified mods as an issue with its games in recent months in October the developers of Capcom's Resident Evil engine, the game software that powers games like Street Fighter VI, Monster Hunter Rise, and multiple Resident Evil games said the mods can cause reputational damage and become a burden on customer support. Reputational damage. So if this is like uh, the controversy around Starfield, where there was mod out there to take you know, pronouns out of the game, or um, I think it was Baldur's Gate, where you could turn a trans character into a male or female, um, you know, uh, biological male or female. Uh, so it might be that they're like, yeah, we don't want uh, uh, Jill Valentine having a dick. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> what they're they're doing with these mods i have no idea what they're doing with them but also customer support yeah because if you mod your game you're effectively breaking the game in some cases in some cases and if the mod breaks the game they don't want you to be calling capcom and being like why is my game not work well does jill valentine have a dick yeah well that's that's your problem that is your problem you gave her a dick and now the game doesn't work <laughs> the image of what a uh, the image of a product is tarnished when mods are released that violate public order and morals without permission. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, mods can be mistaken for legitimate implementations and can cause bad publicity. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not that's not a good thing to say. Like, I understand that they don't want their game's reputations to be tarnished. I, I get that. I get that they probably don't want naked Chun-Li in Street Fighter 6 or whatever crazy mod people are coming up with. I don't mod my game, so I have, I have no idea what, what they're doing here. But, you know, I think most people can make it very, very clear. Uh, to their, if, if you're worried about people streaming the game, if that's if you're worried about them streaming the game and Jill Valentine has a dick and Chun-Li's boobs are hanging out, 
I think most people understand <laughs> it's a mod. That is not the way. That is not the way it comes from Capcom, right? Um, I think most people understand that. I mean, Minecraft has been modded forever. Although Microsoft, I've heard, is is trying to crack down on that, right? Uh, Capcom experienced a highly publicized incident of bad publicity with a mod in one of the marquee games last summer. An unofficial Street Fighter Six tournament streamed footage of Twitch. Oh my God! I was kidding. Streamed footage on Twitch of the fighting game with a naked Chun Li mod installed. <laughs> I was. I was kidding. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just said my go-to was like, what's somebody going to do? Oh, they're going to make Chun-Li naked. They're going to make Chun-Li naked. That's what they're going to do. Oh my God. That's that's some low hanging fruit guys. Literally anything you could have, you could have given Chun-Li a dick instead. And that would have been more creative prior to street fighter sixes release. Capcom also issued a warning to players of a modified version of the game's closed beta version, saying they could be ineligible for the Capcom Pro Tour and Street Fighter League if they were found playing uh, the nudie version of uh, Street Fighter. In December, Capcom also reportedly took down videos from a Monster Hunter speedrunning group's YouTube channel that featured modded versions of Monster Hunter Rise expansion Sunbreak. According to YouTube channel Team Darkseid, Capcom Japan's legal team is going after Sunbreak videos on YouTube, which feature any kind of mod and issue takedown requests and copyright strikes. Many videos of fellow Monster Hunter speedrunners were taken down. Some speedrunners even received three strikes and their channels were deleted. Wow. Okay. That's a little, that's a little harsh, isn't it? I think that's a little harsh because actually the bad publicity of going to war with modders and YouTubers is, is that there's more damage that's going to be done by that. Just ask Nintendo how that works, right? Nintendo tried to crack down on people streaming their games and they're going to force them into some revenue share thing. And that didn't last very long because the backlash was severe. And then what happened was people just streamed other games. They've marketed other games. When people are streaming your games or playing your games online, they're doing marketing for you, right? Because even if they want to buy, this is my personal opinion, if they want to buy Street Fighter VI and make Chun-Li naked, um, they're still buying a copy of Street Fighter VI, aren't they? You know what I'm saying? Like they're still buying the game, aren't they? What they do with it after they buy it is entirely up to them. But, um, you know, that is my opinion. Capcom's games are frequently modded on PC. Mods for Street Fighter and Resident Evil games offer alternative costumes that range from salacious to hilarious. Other mods offer alternative graphics options and cheats. It appears that Capcom is ramping up its efforts to block mods in its PC games with Steam users reporting that at least eight titles have implemented Enigma Protectors. This is going to be the new normal, guys. I'm telling you. An unconfirmed list of Capcom games that uses it include... Resident Evil 5 Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. That's a weird one. And multiple Mega Man Legacy Collection titles. Capcom's use of Enigma Protector is separate from the company's other anti-piracy measures. So yeah, so this isn't about piracy. This is about stopping people from modding games. Uh, Polygon contacted them. They have not gotten back to them about it. Uh, uh, this has come from Games Radar. Enigma software can be used for DRM-related purposes, but there's no evidence it's impacting game performance. People are saying that. Basically, they're pissed about not being able to mod the games. Now, PC Games has an article up that says, uh, Resident Evil Modder says Capcom DRM allegations are nonsense. Uh, claims that Capcom has caused performance issues by adding Enigma to Resident Evil revelations are nonsense, uh, says popular Resident Evil Modder. Now, one predominant Resident Evil modder who has created tools for mods for Resident Evil 2, 8, and a variety of other Resident Evil and Capcom games says the recent claims regarding DRM are nonsense. We have no reason to believe Enigma was behind the problems with the Revelations patch, and the vast majority of the mods still work completely fine with the games that have Enigma protection. That's interesting. Uh, Fluffy Quack, creator of ArcTool and Retool, two modding platforms that enables users to create material for Capcom games, says Capcom has been adding Enigma to their games for a long while now. Resident Evil 5 got it last year. The Street Fighter 6 beta had it two years ago. Ghost Trick has it. And many other games have it. I have not seen people report worse performance issues in those games or major glitches as a result of Enigma. We don't have a reason yet to believe that Enigma was the cause of the crashes or performance issues with the new Revelations patch, Capcom has shown some anti-mod behavior in the past years. For instance, with the various layers of protection added to RE engine games. I don't think this is specifically to target mods, but rather an overall attempt to combat piracy and cheating in modding as an extension. 
Now, this is coming from a modder, so that, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.